president. As President Obama was offering support to military families today, he was also putting the finishing touches on his State of the Union address, which aides insist will not include a laundry list of specific proposals or policies. In a video sent to supporters over the weekend, Mr. Obama said this would be the main topic of his address. My principal focus, my number one focus, is going to be making sure that we are competitive, that we are growing, and we are creating jobs, not just now, but well into the future. Senior White House officials say the president will outline a theme of winning the future, which will include five pillars for ensuring the nation's competitiveness and economic growth, innovation, education, infrastructure, deficit reduction, and reforming government. To Republican leaders, some of that sounds like code for new spending. With all due respect to our Democratic friends, anytime they want to spend, they call it investment. So I think you'll hear the president talk about investing a lot uh, Tuesday night. Other Republicans expect the president will deliver a good speech, but wonder if he'll do more than just talk about cutting the red tape, which hurts job creation. Will he really get his regulatory commissions to cut back on the regulations that are hurting the growth of business? Will he agree to some changes in the Obamacare, which uh, is keeping people from hiring? Republicans would also like to hear about significant spending cuts, but aides suggest many of those details won't come until the White House releases the 2012 budget in mid-February. There's also talk of reforming the business tax code to improve incentives for investing in the U.S. We are going to take a look at whether we can find a political support for a reform of the corporate tax code that would lower rates by broadening the base but not lose revenue on net. Critics worry that means the administration may end up taxing business more by eliminating many deductions. Senator Orrin Hatch warns, quote, I caution the administration and its Capitol Hill allies, however, against pursuing any tax increases under the guise of so-called reform. Back to the actual speech, senior aides say what is actually in there in terms of content has been decided, but they do expect the president to continue going through the speech and making edits up until several hours before giving the speech tomorrow night. Brett? Mike Emanuel, live on the North Lawn. Mike, thank you. Last week, House Republicans led a vote to turn back the clock on the president's health care.